good. How are you? Good. Right on. Hell yeah. Do we have a lot of alphas right now? Well, I mean, it seems like it with Tyler Hochul coming back, he was kind of the alpha one, and then your character Scott, and then we've got a couple Right, right, but then he wasn't an alpha anymore, right? Yeah. Derek's not an alpha, right? Technically, no. It's technically not. He was. How did this power get stripped from him? He gave it up for, to save He gave it up. Yep. Exactly, right. Yeah, so Heckman's not an alpha anymore. I am. Is anybody else? Well, it well, seemed like Liam's stepping up to be an alpha. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, the kid's got potential. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> there he is, right there. Uh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, we've been kind of teasing Liam stepping up and kind of taking Scott's position uh, in, in, in the alpha role and just in the leader of Beacon Hills. Um, you know, but I think uh, I think I think he's gonna have to do it his own way. You know, figure out how to be his, an alpha. I, I don't know if true alphas are are handed out that easily. You know, uh, so he's gonna have to work for it, I guess, or kill me. Because if you kill an alpha, you become the alpha. That was the original way before we heard about the true alpha shit. So. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's just, it's it, it, it's uh, it's really cool having the whole pack that you know that once were alphas because they know how to fight as alphas. They know they just they 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 know the brain of an alpha. So it's easier to work with somebody who's you know kind of like it's easy to date somebody who's in the same business as you are. You know because they get it, they get your life. Yeah. It's kind of like that. I just want to date my alpha friends. That's all I'm trying to say. <laughs> Yeah, so like season six A, we kind of we kind of did a couple of sneak teases to potentially opening up the relationship to Scott and Malia, um, and I love it. I love it. I love it. I will always say the best things about Shelly. I think that she is the greatest, most talented person, uh, most loving, caring, affectionate. She's the greatest, and so I was really, really, really happy um, that we got to end the season like that. And uh, it was it, it felt it felt right, you know, in terms of. Uh, stuff that we haven't really done yet before. Um, Scott had been single for like a full season, which had never happened before, so it was really nice, I think, for Scott to kind of take a step back, um, focus on himself a little bit, realize what he wants, realize who he is. Uh, and at 18, that's still kind of hard, so he's still got some figuring out to do. But um, but yeah, yeah, he and he and Malia are really sweet and uh, you know really great friends, and I think that's the, the the how every good relationship forms is by being you know really good friends at first and then kind of just naturally uh, transcend into that. But I'm not saying anything. It could have been could have been a dream sequence. <laughs> oh, I'm telling you, Timo throws curveballs. You know this. Oh, uh, the hate. Come on, baby. There's always time for romance. Just a little bit. There's anyway. always time for romance. I mean, those things look weird, don't they? <laughs> they look like buttholes. They look like <laughs> giant. I'm sorry, I got really distracted. But like, what the hell? It's just the art. I mean, they're also kind of beautiful at the same time. I'm not saying a butthole isn't beautiful, but like, uh, all right, we'll come back to that later. Uh, what did you ask me again? We're talking about the romance and whether there's even time for it. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um. Uh, I mean, there's always turmoil in Beacon Hills, and they're always sort of fighting for their lives and trying to figure out an, uh, uh, a new method of saving their lives or killing a, a bad guy or defeating a bad guy, whatever. Um, but they're still kids, you know, and we really try to do a good job at um, making it relatable and, 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 you know, even when you're, like, thrust in, like, danger and destruction and chaos, you know, you can't hide feelings. You can't stop feelings. Yeah, totally. I really liked it a lot. I, uh, I think it gave Scott a really sweet ending, um, one that I feel like he's needed for a while. You know, Scott's kind of a, 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 not a troubled kid, but like that kid's always stressed out, you know, and pressured, and I feel bad for him. I feel like he, you know, he needs a break, and he kind of gets that. You get, or you get that sense of it, you know, at the very end, sort of, in a way. And it's really, it's a really cool ending. Total full circle. I think it was a really cool way to wrap it up because you know we each season we kind of try to dive into a new folklore and a mythology, and from my point of view, you know sometimes it can get a little confusing, and which is always really fun and really cool. But you know it gets it can get be a little confusing. I I sometimes I'm watching a show and I'm like, what, what the hell is happening? <laughs> and uh, you know we kind of bring it back to like the simplest form that it was, and you know hunters, hunters hunting these beasts. And there's, he doesn't get much more simple than that. You know, it's a war between humans and wolves. And, uh, and it was really cool. Plus, I love Michael. Michael Hogan's a great dude, a uh, really talented guy. 
Um, and I learned a lot from him over the years. You know, he, he, he is the most committed dude I've ever met. Actor, he will just stay there all fucking night and all day, never complain, and just always be on. I love him. So yeah, yeah, it was the greatest. You gotta, you gotta learn to let yourself fail and, and be okay with it, you know? A lot of learning comes from failure. And so I think that's one of the things, you know, he's always had the leader mentality. He's always wanted to save people and save his friends and be there, but he didn't really know how, you know? So I think that's what he took away, you know? Learning how to be there and be the hero and the leader, but um, figuring out the balance of like leadership and accepting your wrongs and, and being a human also, you know? Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Thank you guys.